good cast, so I must have done something right. Or do you want to? So yeah, to play a character, to actually answer the question and not go off on a tangent, um, it was a little tricky to do something that's kind of out of my comfort zone, but once you kind of get into the character, it's actually pretty easy to you know, play somebody that's very casual, low-key. Is it on TV yet? Oh, no. Like in Canada? Oh, it's still in the States? We haven't got it up here yet? Do we know when it's, when it's like, it's, they announced when it's going to, no, no, not yet? Oh. Oh, Kathy, that's good. Product placement. I'll take the question one on. Yeah. Um, okay. You know, you know how the always wanted to be Afrin? Sorry, I'm no, short. No, no, I'm trying to find it. I'm short, I know. Um, <laughs> can you try to voice act in the Arca by rubbing it in Afrin's face so you finally meet him? I don't think you heard me. I did, I just don't know how to respond to it. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Stay down, punk. <laughs> You're done. Don't get up. I'll beat you down again. <laughs> that's right. Wow, that sucked. <laughs> hey. Hey, okay, well, this is a good question. Just a bad, bad answer. Death cry for Owl because his death sucks. Uh, okay, a little spoiler, not a big one, obviously. Um, in, yeah, yeah, it's been up for a while. In Gundam Sea Destiny, um, I was I was able to re reprise my role as Diarca, but I also got to play Owl, who's, I mean, he was kind of an interesting character. He's a little cuckoo. Yeah. <laughs> like my my take on Owl is essentially me doing my lamest impression of like Cobra Commander from G.I. Joe back in the day. So. Oh, looks like this. You know? But yeah, he has a he has a bad day, we'll say, so I don't spoil too much. And instead of in the Gundam universe when people have bad days, they usually end their bad day with a or something like that. Um, I got impaled. So I was all excited because I knew things weren't gonna go well for Owl. And I knew it was coming at some point. And so the moment arrived and I was all psyched up. All right, my epic, epic battle. Because I've been lucky where I haven't really been, you know, killed off in Gundam yet. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I didn't really know what to do. Well, actually not true, because I've been like, you know, pilot 39B who, you know, is in there. That's his one line is, <laughs> But uh, poor Owl gets, like I said, impaled. So that was, that was my big death cry was, <laughs> I was like, oh man, that's it? That's it? Yeah, that's it, he's done. <laughs> so so here's here's my, my revised uh, owl death cry if, let's say, he had been slowly tortured and then killed before getting impaled. <laughs> Actor. By accident. It was destiny. It was gonna be destiny. <laughs> um, I, I got into acting in general um, mainly because of my sister. She's a year older than me and she was big into theater and stuff and I was kind of watching what she was doing and I got all excited. She was doing a great job so I wanted to do it too. Um, so we were, we were doing some theater stuff in elementary school I mean, I was, I was pretty lucky to have a music teacher in elementary school that would take it upon herself to organize school plays and things, right? She was incredible. And so my sister was doing that, and then I got into it. And when my sister was in high school, she got mixed up with a place called the Vancouver Youth Theater. And I saw what she was doing there, and I wanted to do it too, of course. So I was just kind of following in her footsteps. And then at one point, we both got um, invited to join an acting agency, which for like on-camera, film and TV type stuff. And they were right across the street from the theater, so it's kind of handy. They are kind of keeping track of the kids that were coming through the theater. And they asked me and my sister if we wanted to join at one point. We said, yes, please. <laughs> and so when I, when I started doing the acting, I was doing more on-camera work, you know, like for TV shows and commercials and things like that. 
And um, then I had my first audition for a cartoon, which was uh, My Little Ponytails. Yes. <laughs> and I got it, and I loved it. And, um, you know, a couple of years later, I had my first audition for an anime series, which was a show called uh, Rodma One Half. And when I was like, so yeah, I played, uh, I played Moose in, in Rodma One Half, and... Uh, yeah. Ducks kick ass! Ducks kick ass. <laughs> That's a whole other story. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, it's just kind of gone from there. I don't do the, uh, sorry, we'll see you later, miss you. Everybody say goodbye. Bye! Bye. <laughs> oh, she's coming back? Oh, I take it back then. We'll see you later. <laughs> oh, what the hell was I talking about? Oh, yeah, okay. No, I still kind of forgot. Yeah, so I, I, don't, I don't do the on-camera stuff anymore. Um, I was... You know, I graduated high school and I was going to college um, uh, for graphic design and illustration, which is my quote-unquote quote, real job, because this is the dream job. But uh, I don't, unfortunately, I can't really support myself off of the earnings yet. Hopefully, yet. Hopefully, that one day I can do it. But uh, um, so yeah, it was just it was too much, uh, and I hated the audition process for on-camera stuff. It was just very competitive and all that kind of stuff. You.